Welcome to the West Fort Library. Today's program will begin momentarily. Supported by Verso Studios. Created locally and shared with the world. Good morning and welcome to the second day of our mask making workshop. <laughs> thank you. I would again like to say thank Bud and Roz Siegel for their generous support of our Camp Explore program this whole summer. And if you're interested in physics, come to our circus skill workshop. It's all about the movement of body in space, physics. Um, today, we're going to continue with our masks. We have a little different setup. So everybody, the center table is for painting only. Y'all are doubling up on workspace. So you work at your current tables and paint only at the other table. I'm going to turn this over to Ayabin right now, who is going to go over a couple of safety hints and procedures, as well as cardboard cutting skills. And everybody. Am I on? Yes, yes, okay, here I am. Everybody can hear me good. Um, great job yesterday first. We got, we got along really, really cool. I'm thinking that Maybe a couple of us might end up at this paint table today because I came around just now and saw what you guys were doing and we're definitely making really good progress. But the main thing is um, some safety tips. This is really cool too, the cardboard cutter, but you, can, oh, you, you need to use it only in places. The girls, girls, stop for a second and watch. Right here, just watch, okay? So with this, right, you can definitely get cut with this. So my suggestion is, right, and I'll put this down so I can show you. Let's say your design is on this, and it's here. Here's my design, right? Here, right? I only need this so I can take this and cut the big piece off. And watch the way I'm cutting. I'm holding my hand, remember I kept saying? You start to cut. First thing you do is you're holding it and you're cutting in the firm place. And once you make that first cut, you're going over and you're holding the top of it like that. So now the two pieces are together and it'll stay firm and then you cut. And this, the hand guard here, you wanna keep your fingers behind that because if they slide, they will go onto the blade. And once you cut that out, and you get down to the smallest piece, then you could take a scissor. See what I'm saying? And now you're cutting. Two things. With the scissor, you're in charge of the speed and how hard it's getting closed. You, you're also holding it so your hands are nowhere near it. And you have way more control so you can actually cut the way you need it. And one of the awesome things about working with cardboard is, even if this, like this mouth that you drew as one piece, you can cut out, and when you glue it down, you can put it back together. See what I mean? So let's try that today. Big pieces to get the hunk and the mess away with the, with the cutter and the details with the scissors. And we have different size scissors that you can use to cut the cardboard really, really easily. All right, so that said, I say let's jump in and um, get back to work. So you guys remember mine yesterday. I kind of know exactly what I want to do with it now. So um, I'm going to make it like a, remember we were talking about how masks work and the importance of masks, why we need masks and how, what masks are useful. So now that I, I kind of came back today and I looked at mine, I'm thinking I'm going to use, I'm going to make it into a Shango mask. Shango is one of the 
like one of the gods or the Orishas in, in, in Nigeria. And he's represented by, he's like a warrior. So he's represented by a double axe. I think I'm gonna put like a double-headed axe right here coming off the top, like a headpiece. And I'm, I know now that I'm gonna color, use it red because red is my favorite color and it's also his like power color. So now I'm starting to put things in there that are like personal things. That's the things we should be talking about, thinking about today. All the little details we're gonna add in that's gonna make the mask represent us now. So guys, if you look up here for a second, I'm gonna use this as my headpiece and I'm using the exact technique we used to start the mask when we first made the shape. So I got one piece cut out over here, and I'm gonna put it down and trace it and then cut everything out, same way that we did the other, and that's gonna end up being my headpiece on it. So let's see if that works.
All right. Cool. Well, let me see what you got, bro. Are you figuring it out? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for all the, like, um, glue to dry that I added on. Because I put so, those on, those feet are my brows. Okay. <laughs> otherwise, eh. Can I help? Yeah. Cool. So you want to go bigger? Oh, another thing that you could do with eyes, you could also, like, make it out wider if you want your eyes to look like that. Like that? Yeah. yeah. And that same thing with that one? Yes. I made the eyes I like, a little crazy. I like this. Thank you. Are you going to give her eyelashes? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Did you see my eyelash? Did you see my eyelash trick? Yeah. Cool. Over here, you might actually have the perfect things for eyelashes. Um, like, uh, something really thin. Like, this is thinner than the other stuff. And this, you can just kind of... Pieces, right? We go like that. Thank you. And let's make this. I'm gonna say that's big, but let's get two pieces first. So we go like that, and like that, and then let's let's uh make them like that. Take this, put that on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. And let's trace that guy. <laughs> and then you're gonna use this same thing. Here, you cut that. And let me borrow your scissors for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yep. Flip, flip it, turn it around. So you get your hand out the way. So you turn up this way, hold it. See what I mean? There you go. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we got these pieces. Now let's take this stuff, look. Um, soon, but we gotta let you, let's get you dry and get everything attached first. Look. I'm thinking, I was thinking like while the bottoms are trying I could paint the top draw. Hello. Bless you. See? Yeah, you did it. You got it because you did the hair like that. But then you go like this. And you take this. Um, hmm. Something... Like these work, one of these work, right? You're gonna go like that and roll it from here. Like this, look. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like this. And 
It can be sloppy. It could be messy. Yeah, it could be messy. You just want them all to curl, and then you take it out. Look. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect, right? And then you go like that, but then you bend it like this. Look. Look. So you put the hot glue there, like that, and you stick it on like that. Works? Cool. Okay, pleasure. As a matter of fact, let me, um, I can do them for you really quickly. Let me go, let me go. I'll be right back. This part doesn't, but I'm so used to it. Now you can make it do what you need it to do, okay? Right? You can curl them more with your finger. You can put your finger on and like these guys, put them on that runny finger so they stay. You see what I mean? Okay, so, um, can I show you my, uh, my idea? Cool. I tried this a couple times and I kind of like how it turned out. So, you go like that, right? Do if we were to make it look like that, I was planning on just like making cuts in the mouth. Let me show you. They like your idea. All right, so we do that, right? You got that guy, right? We got this guy here, right? So then we go with. Right? You get these two guys, right? These would be two skinny pieces like this, right? Side pieces, like let's see. Um, I think one of these is perfect actually because it's got the nice slidiness on the back. So let's go. Let me just think here. So we got two, we got two, all the way up. And we'll cut these into four, right? And then, right? Yeah, we'll cut these into four like this. Two at the top, two at the bottom, right? And then, cool, 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 cool. And, um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, the bottom piece. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? Come up there with me and I'll show you. Okay. So you come stand, you come stand right over there. Well, tell me your name. Give me your name again. Uh, Gavin. Gavin. Okay, so guys, um, I'm gonna show Gavin one of my tricks that I, I kind of in, came up with to for a moving jaw because he's doing it. He has a piece over there that's really awesome where he has the, these really huge teeth. He's trying to get it so that the mouth moves. So I'm gonna show him uh, something I came up with and see if he can use that in his style. So the trick is right to attach them like this. So here's this guy over here. I'm gonna attach him like that, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna put him down like this. One here, and one here. I'm gonna attach that here, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we're gonna put this on the other side, like that. One here. One here. Do you ever get burned when you use hot Oh, absolutely. But it's, uh, I always get burned. I, I've gotten burned hundreds of times, um, and it hurts. But the trick is to just get 
start to really, really pay attention. If you pay attention to what you're doing and keep your fingers out of the way as much as possible. See, like the strings, when they come off like this, they don't burn. It's that hot stuff in there that burns you like crazy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm sure you've gotten a couple tries, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So you go here, right? And then you do the same thing down here. So you make it almost like hinges, right? So you get this one here, that one there. You put this one here like so. Yeah, there you go. And this one here. Get that down. Go away. This guy on this side. a little detailing just so I can you can really see what I'm doing. I'll give him a couple of teeth like that. Hold that one. And hello top bro. How you doing? I like that. Thank you very much. Right. We put so let's put this one down here really quickly. Like that. Let's put this guy. Fold it like this so the teeth go right across. Yeah. yeah like that. And this goes like this. Right? And then what you have is you move in jaw. Look. See what I mean? Yeah, so, but what I'm doing, I'm doing, like, yeah, like, the, a rubber band mechanism. Okay, inside here. Same yeah, kind so of, like, as the hinges. Yeah, so, like, it can, like, when you open, it'll open, and, like, it doesn't hang open, like, since, the rub, since there are rubber bands, it'll, like, come back up. Okay, they'll, they'll pop back. Okay, cool. I like that, I like that, so I'm looking forward. Okay, cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. So one more time, guys, on our on our jaw, the jaw I just did with uh, Gavin. So look at the, let's look at the back where the mechanics are. It, it was just about attaching pieces so you could use it as sort of like guide poles to drive to move it up and down on. So everything could happen in the back the same way if you wanted to put eyes in the, eyeballs in into your eye sockets, you could attach, use the, everything on the back so when you turn it over, you can't see how everything is connected. But the main thing was attaching something that could move in the back, this piece, like this piece here. And it's just like a hinge, so you can close and open it. That could work if you wanted to have eyelids that opened and closed. You just have to put a socket so it can slide inside of, and that's what you created here using a cardboard, all right? I'll bring it around, actually, so everybody can look at it. Yes, Josh, perfect, uh, Gavin, yes, perfect uh, uh, handling there. Look at the girl over here with the style and everything. Don't worry, they'll stay up, they'll stay up. 
especially when you put the, the, um, the paint on it, we can make it do what we want it to do. So see what I'm saying, guys? Look. And you look in the back. See? No, so you glue the bottom. Exactly, you glue one part, and then the other part moves. So if you wanted to, look, look what I could do. I could put little things on here and make it into the eyes. So when it closes, the eyes oh, show up. even with the red eyes. See? Like, more Go a little thinner, like 70% thinner. See what I mean? Population already knows cool. I think it's a little bit more. See what I'm saying over here, guys? Watch the back. So if you attach at the bottom and make it slide here into little slots, it goes like that. Cool. See what I mean? Yeah. And I am not doing that. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. Again. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're kind of fun with glue. Okay. I like, I like, I like. Easy with the scissors, right? Huh? Harder with the scissors? Ah, you look how you put your, see, look. Look, see, look. Anytime you glue, anytime you put a blade anywhere, it nicks. You see what I'm saying? Like yesterday, I was making the holes to put this, and I put my finger there by accident, look. And I'm, I'm a professional artist. I've been doing this for 30 something years. So every time you cut, look. Look what this hand is. And if you can't, if you can't get it, you have to move this. Look, I want to get there now. So instead of putting my hand here, just move it. Put my hand in a different way and cut from there. So it's just about do it. Doctors do it, dentists do it. One hand is the holding hand and the other hand is the operating hand. Okay? Just like when you write, look. You don't write like this. You don't write, I'm left-handed. You don't write like this, right? You hold the paper and write like this, right? So you can see what you're doing yes. all the time. And this, you got to move the other hand out of the way. Thank all you. right, darling? Okay. Um, I have paintbrushes ready if you want to talk about how to use paint. Yes. Yes, 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 because I'm, I'm about ready for that step, too, yeah, so I that's perfect. Some of them are ready to and I have the fine ones. Very cool. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. And we're, we're putting the paint in these containers. Do you okay. want some paint to get Yes. Shown? All right. These are good. These are the ones I got. I recommend these are the ones you told me yeah, to get. Yeah, these are pretty cool for, um, they, they, even though they, they're liquid, uh -huh. they could still, you could still stretch them a little bit. With, with you more. don't need much, right? Nah, that's perfect. perfect. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah. So, guys. We are moving along pretty good. Pretty awesome, actually. I'm thinking um, there's going to be some of us that definitely get to painting today. So um, let me give you a couple of suggestions and, and ideas. Every, I'm sure everybody's going to put more than one color on your piece. So I want you to come up with, if you, if you know that you're going to put sections, I want you to put, come up with areas. So let's say that I'm on mine. I plan on painting everything inside here one color. So I'm gonna come, only gonna go with that one color for now. I plan on painting the entire thing a color. So I'm gonna use that, that's my, that would be called a base color. So you're gonna put that down first, and we want that to dry before we put the other colors on. Because one of the first things that happens when you mix a lot of colors is, you end up with brown. That's how brown was invented. Somebody started making too much of a mess, so we had to use brown. So brown is what will happen if you do that. So base color, so I'm gonna use red. And when it comes to big areas, you want to use the biggest brush you can. So here's like a one inch. And just like with the, just like with the, uh, the scissor and the cutter, you want to paint away from you, because you will slip and paint your clothes. I like how you start away from the edge. Yes. Well, when you, go, when, you, when you go away from the edge, you have the opportunity, especially like something like that, you can go right off the edge, and that's the best way to get a line. If you try to come this way, you're gonna hit that. 
The other thing is to go thin coats at a time. So when you're loading the brush, you just want to load this part of the brush. All of this up here is going to be ended up being wasted paint. So you just want to load. So you're going down, load up, and you're coming over. And when it comes to lines, like if I don't want to paint the nose, then it's about where I put the brush and start. So I'm going to put the brush here, and I'm going to pull away from it. And put the brush here and pull away from it. Put the brush there and pull away from it. You could turn corners. And for me, a lot of people hold brushes. You know, Picasso would hold a lot of brushes like that. But the, if you hold your brush pretty much the way you hold your pencil, it's really about control. Like the further away, if you're somebody that paints like flowers, if you paint a lot of flowers and stuff like that, the further back you hold it, the more flowery and kind of light you get. But with this, you want control, so you go up and you hold it. And that's going to give you the opportunity to really kind of go. And again, if you do one coat and give that a chance to dry, and go back and get the other coat, you'll get much better coverage. You won't end up with like these sort of lumps and, and all these kind of lines in your paint. So that's the main thing, let's try to focus on that. If you get to paint, let's try to put our base color or colors down. Let's, and it's gonna be up to you what you're adding. But if you have, let's say you're gonna make a red mask with white dots. You don't need white dots until that red paint is completely dry or you're gonna end up with pink dots. Got me? Cool. The other brushes, you know, you can pretty much see this, something like this is going to be for detail. So that kind of stuff is where the brush is coming. So the, the size of the brush is the same as uh, when you're using crayons. If you want to put red, you wouldn't get an orange crayon. So if you want a little line, you wouldn't use a big brush. If you want a big line, you wouldn't use a little brush. Right? Cool. So let's hopefully let's get some paint then. I'm going to go over to the paint table and start painting. You just gave me a cool idea. I'm gonna try what I'm looking at your idea. I'm gonna try something. <laughs> she kinda looks lost there like that.
if you're coming over to paint, you should definitely have a little thing of water and some napkin to dry your brush if you're gonna switch paint. Hmm? With the nose? You got to glue it on? Oh, you don't need it. Oh, in the garbage. In the, right in the box there, right underneath the table. Yes. That one. Mm hmm Good man, thank you. No, I'm born in Antigua. All right. Okay. Nobody is to walk away from this table um, with a paintbrush or paint. Okay? It all stays here. It all it's stays. near Jamaica. This is a wet mm -hmm. rag. If you need it for now, we're getting the water and the white and the towels. Now, if somebody Um, you, you, yeah, thank you. We're going to share your red paint with Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go, guys. There you go, Michael. And this Jump is right Michael. In. Yep. Jump right in here. You got the brush? There you go. Blue 
much in the center of the table. When you're done with your colors, put it in the very center so other people can use it if they want. Okay. Gonna do half and half. No, because the paintbrush goes in it. I'm just going to take out some of the water. So okay, it's only this much. Once you get the water dirty, it's going to be I know. That's why. All right, I have this for paintbrushes. Before you stick a paintbrush. Uh, Eli, Eli, you have to stay. Your paint, paint has to stay here. Um, Willow, you're leaning against the table and you're getting all blue. Okay, so just be a little careful. I just wanted you to be aware.
parts. If you're this thick, that's going to stay wet for a little bit. Also, notice right here. Do you Thank want you. this effect? Yeah. Is it okay? Is it Yaba? You don't Ayaba, want yes. Ayaba. Yes. Um, did you? Did that's I what you're going to get if you put in a second coat. Is it that so you're from Ghana? Or no. Something are you nice my family, my, my, my bloodline, I trace back to. Oh, yes. Interesting. My yes. oldest went to Ghana a couple my years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Very cool. We, um, we are Twi. It's yes. the people, yeah. So I, I'm, uh, most of the stuff you see on me is, is Twi, okay, and cool. most of the, the symbolism is Twi. I have a student, I'm, I'm a teacher, I teach ESL, uh -huh. and I have a student who speaks Twi. Cool. Very cool, very oh, cool. Okay. Now, also... A lot of the, um, a lot of my patois, the words that we use in Antigua, so which is kind of like... Yeah, yeah, so with the brush, really, really important to watch your shape of your brush. The reason brushes have different, sometimes you have brushes that actually have corners on them, but the brush, think about the brush like a way to get into things. So the flat surface is going to be the paint for painting flat things. When it comes to corners, then you turn the brush to the angle. So if you got to come, if you're going like that, you turn it, you turn it and go up and down. See what I mean? Like this. Cool. All right, two seconds. All right, there we go. There we go. So, again, when it comes to edges, you could turn the brush this way because you have a skinny line going this way and get it. That's how you get into all the little nooks and crannies and corners. And when it comes to, when it comes to the final details, like most of mine is dry because I kept it really thin with the layer. And I know my color scheme, the color combination I'm using is red and white. So now I'm gonna go with my whites. And I'm gonna use repetition and just going really slow and control. So I'll go,
See what I mean? Now, most of the African, African cloth you see, that's the technique that we use to create the textile, just repetition of things. Another, another pattern. Ooh, I like it, I like it. And guys, we're, we're, in a, we're, at, we're going at a really good pace right now. We're right on, tomorrow should be, it's gonna be perfect. Maybe some people are gonna be doing a little bit of touch up with the paint, but we'll have an opportunity to go crazy on that table over there and start adding all the pieces on top that make, the, the goal is to keep personalizing every day to make it look a little bit more like you. Something that your best friend would come in here and go, I know exactly whose mask that is. So that's gonna be the goal. We're doing, we're right on pace right now. Great job today, guys. Yes, and we got, I'm going to say we have five more minutes of work time so we can give ourselves a little time to clean up. So five more minutes, whatever you're doing now, have that be the last thing you work on. Looking pretty cool, looking pretty cool. Yes. We got, we got coat, we got covers for those, right? Yep, we sure do. Oh, yeah. we're saving that for How are we gonna remember that paint, Margaret? I guess we'll put it in between the other paints. That's how we remember that's paint. Let's take one box and do we have a um? Do we have a thing we were just putting uh? Do we have one of those we we're just putting the, the dirty brushes in? The dirty brushes can go right in that. One. All right, perfect. All right, guys, home stretch, huh? Last piece, last last little bit. Excellent color combinations, guys. I'm really really digging, man. That's very cool, very cool. Very, this looks very uh, indigenous. <laughs> like um, my my dad is from uh, my dad's people are from uh, South America, Guyana. Yeah, yeah Guyana. And so I am. Um, My family's from South America. Oh, yeah? Peruvian. Yes. Okay, so that's where this is coming from. This is very awesome. Very awesome. Now, see, remember we were talking about personalizing? Mm -hmm. That's the way that you can kind of put it. And I love the way you, um, you use the texture for the, yeah. for the face, for the facial thing. You guys kick butt, man. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't see silver. Metallic. Ooh. 
Yeah. Okay, you guys went. You guys, I love it, man. <laughs> this is very good. That's good. Oh, look at that. That's good. Ten points. Ten points, guys. Hey, thanks. That's excellent. You guys are gonna be cool with this when you take up to when you do it yourself. This is the trick part. This once you get this, yeah. it's great. And then if you have, let's say, like you have like younger kids, yep. you take the uh, construction paper and do the same shape, okay. right? Because yeah. then it, that way you can cut the eyes out and everything, yeah. right? And you go. I'll, sh I'll show you guys a quick little breakdown. If we can, fit, no, not. Can I take your tools from your workstation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 Paper, paper. Paper, 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 paper. Paper, paper, paper. If you want to, I have paper towels over here, and I'll have a little bit of water so you can do, wipe your hands off. Do you have a regular, just regular sheet of paper? You can have real quick. Actually, no. I thought I'm looking around going, well, wow. One thing I didn't bring down. And it doesn't need to be clean. It can there, be. You can use the back of my introduction. Can I cut it? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. With that. Perfect. So, paper, construction paper, hold that bad boy. When you go at him with the scissor, you go, uh, same cut. And with this, because you have the paper, it's so much more, it's easier to manipulate. So, eyes can go like that. Mouth can go like that, right? And you cut this top here, and you do your same thing. You go like this, and you pop your staple, pop, pop, and you they just glue on right away. And they, usually it's one class. Kindergarten, I've done it with kindergartners. All the little pieces just get Elmer glued on, or you know their glue. Same thing with the little nose you make that they can all get and stick right here. And then when you put the nose, so it just joins this piece on, and you're off to races. I do. I do. I did. I just went. I like. See, in here, it's dry already. Cool. I like it. I like it. And I also went on the this inside. Is, this and is a change of the um, the what do you call the the happy and the sad space for the, um, theater? Yes, those are the uh. That's like that. That's the symbol. That's the symbols. Yeah, but it's a, a little bit different. Yes. I love it. This is this is kind of happy and maybe blue. Yes, just put it in Good. This is good. We're cleaning up, guys. You know what I like there? You kept your technique all the way around. Megan? What's her name again? Willow. Willow. I like how you kept the same technique all the way through the whole thing. Very good. Put your mask down on the table. No, put your mask on the table and I'm going to get like a silver and a white and like do that. Like yeah, you get the, the little, so you get the little sprinkles. And get, like, yeah, you like it. Mm -hmm. you're done. Yeah. Do you want him to help clean anything up? Okay. No, not at this point, because I have to figure out where everything's uh, going. Okay. You guys, we did a really good job today. See you tomorrow. Make sure your brushes are in the, in the paint. Put those, look, guys, okay, put the I brush in the paint. Actually, since you're done, if you're done, go put it in the, in the water over there. See the, the dirty water? Really cool. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, Gavin, thanks for cleaning up your spots. Well done. Okay, oh, no, we're safe. Okay, we are right up against it. Can I keep this See you tomorrow, bro. Okay. 26. That's a, absolutely. We got maybe you got about three minutes, I think.
Mm -hmm. The, um, one more time, what did you call them? I have yes, I can take those off.